So I received a message on YouTube requesting that I show you how to make a standard curve. Um, this of course was from the spectrophotometry unit of the lab. So I'm going to show you and it's actually fairly easy so shouldn't be too long. So I have here our concentrations from 10, uh, 5, 2.5, 1.25, and 0.625 milligrams per milliliter. These were the concentrations that we obtained from our serial dilution, and here are their accompanying absorbances. Um, 0 0.750, 0 0.400, 0 0.18, 0 0.11, and 0 0.02. So what we want to do is we want to graph these points, we want to plot them, and then we want a line of best fit to be our standard curve. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to highlight all of the data. And this is Excel 2011 on the Mac, so I'm going to click Charts. And I'm going to choose a scatter, just a marked scatter. Okay, now I'm going to clean this up just like I talked to you about the, in one of my other tutorials. I'm going to remove the grid lines and the series. So format grid lines, and I want none. Okay, And I'm actually going to also change my ranges here for my axes. So I'm going to actually make this axis go up to 1. So format axis, number, sorry, scale. And then the maximum value is going to be 1.0. The minimum will be 0. Um, the major unit, I'm going to actually use um, a tenth, so that's fine. Okay, I'll click OK. And then I'm going to do the same over here. So let's go to Format Axis. Um, scale, we're going to go up to 10. And I'm going to do a major unit of 2. Okay, and then over here for number, once it catches up to me, I'm going to actually eliminate the decimal places. So we're going to do 0, OK. All right, and this is my graph. If I want to add uh, titles to each axis, then I just go to Chart Layout, and I go to Axis Titles, uh, Title Below the Axis, and I will name this at beach balls. As soon as the computer catches up to me I'm going to name this concentration and in parentheses I'll put uh, milligrams per milliliter. So. There we go and that's done. And then I'm going to also add a vertical axis. I'm going to do a rotated. And this one is going to be absorbance. Okay. So the last thing I need now to complete my graph is my line of best fit, which, will I, which I will use as my standard curve um, to, to help me determine the concentration of an unknown. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on my data points. I'm going to right click, and I'm going to add a trend line. And then I just click linear and OK. And it's done. So now I can increase my chart area, which will give me this nice big chart. OK, and if I want to add a title, then I can do title above chart. And I can simply name it um, standard curve. Um, protein standard. And that's it. It's just that easy. Uh, obviously, if I want to change a couple of other things here, if I want to um, format the data series or change the shadows on those data points, then I can. But um, just in terms of what you need to have a standard curve, this is pretty much it. So that's all there is to it.